Today in the boot guy, we're gonna be doing a demo video on how to waterproof a pair of work boots or outdoor boots using a product called Moo Buzz. So you guys are always asking me for demo videos on how to waterproof boots, how to take care of boots and stuff like that. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show off the Moo Buzz product line of waterproofing materials and to waterproof a boot that is truly going to benefit from using Moo Buzz. Now my Carolinas, my 905s, these are an unlined lineman's boot. There is no lining inside here. It's a union made, American made boot. It's just a single piece of leather. It has a cotton vamp and it's just a very basic, heavy duty, long wearing boot. Well, guess what? It's not waterproof and that's the big problem here. So, so by adding a little Moo Buzz to this boot should make this boot more of a four season boot for me. This is one of those boots I love wearing every day because there's no insulation because I never know where I'm gonna be. If I'm gonna be inside, if I'm gonna be outside, I just want the protection of a boot on my foot. Plus by adding a little waterproofing material to this boot is gonna make this boot perfect for all of my needs. Now a little bit about Moo Buzz. Moo Buzz was developed by a shoemaker in Madison, Wisconsin and she put all her TLC that she normally puts into rebuilding a pair of shoes, to building a pair of shoes, to putting new soles on it, into creating a product that was going to work in her environment. Now, Madison, Wisconsin is very snowy. It's very wet. It's very Midwestern. So if anybody's gonna know how to protect a pair of boots, it's gonna be a cobbler. If anybody's gonna understand weather and everything else like that, it's gonna be somebody who looks at destroyed footwear all day long. So by them developing a product that's gonna protect leather, I'm sure they know a thing or two about it more so than most of us do. So let's get to waterproofing these boots. Let's get to the demo on this boot. All right, so let's get to this. I'm going to be waterproofing this pair of Carolina 905s. This is a unlined lineman's boot and what separates it from the logger boot is the type of sole that it is. Now, so this boot's got a lot of wear on it. It's not enough wear where I'm gonna to have to replace a sole or anything. So I wanna waterproof them. I wanna be able to wear them in the wetter, colder months because this is one of my actual favorite pairs of boots. It's, you know, it's a nice 10 inch tall. It's got a real high tongue. It's American made. It's a beautiful piece of leather and uh, just needs some waterproofing. So. There's a lot of first steps here, but the first thing we're gonna do is we gotta remember we're gonna be using the Moo Buzz. This is the new stuff from Wisconsin, so I'm gonna be using this, and it's a waterproofer, it's not a conditioner or anything like that. So before we go any further, we have to remove the laces. Now, taking the laces out of the boot is really important when you're going to be waterproofing, cleaning, doing whatever you're going to do for boot maintenance to a pair of your boots. Reason being is you need to get inside the tongue and the laces are usually there and we need to get deep inside there. We need to clean it. We need to do everything we can inside this section of the boot, especially if we're waterproofing a boot. What's the point of waterproofing a boot if you're not going to get all the nooks and crannies inside the boot? So we got that apart. I clean my boots very often, so they don't look really that bad. They're a little probably just dirty or dusty just from the last few days of me wearing them around, but they're not really not that bad. So what we really need to do is we need to, really need to brush our boots. Now this is a basic horsehair brush. This is what I always use to clean off my boots, what I always use in demonstration videos. Nothing fancy, but if you don't own a horsehair brush, pick yourself up a horsehair brush, especially if you care about the conditions of your boots. So let's brush these off. I'm gonna brush the welt, this section right in here. Really important to get the welt done really well. Get all the debris out of the welt, get all the debris that you can out of this section right here. Where these two parts come together, this is where you're really gonna be focusing on waterproofing this boot. So let's get as much dirt, dust, or whatever in there out of. Now inside the tongue, in this section here, Definitely brush this section out because this is the other part. Because when you're wearing this boot, after you've waterproofed it, when you're wearing this boot around, all right, this is where water is going to collect. This is where it's going to gather. This is where everything you don't want 
inside your boot is gonna stop and stay because it's gonna roll down or it's gonna roll up into your boot. So clean really well right here. All right, so as you could see, a little dirt that came off them, a little dust, a little something. No longer need this, we're done. The brush is done, we've brushed the boots. Let's get it out of here. One less thing on the table. One less thing in the way. Now let's get to the MUBAs. Like all waterproofing stuff, there's always gonna be instructions. And what they say is to use a circular pattern after you brush this and rub it in really well and give it 20 minutes to kind of flash off, to cure, to soak in, to all these words that we can use to describe what needs to be happening. You need to give it some time. So let's open this stuff up. Let's talk about the cloth that we're gonna use and let's talk about how we're gonna put it on and where we're gonna put it. So when we open this up, what you're gonna notice that it is a waxy compound. It is smooth. Moo Buzz being a natural product is part beeswax, part neat's foot oil. So it's an all in one compound that you need in order to keep water out of your leather and to keep your leather supple and soft. So as you can see, it's a very nice, soft material. I'm sure if I pushed my finger, we could get my finger down in there. As you can see, it's soft. It's not hard at all. And see all the oils as I start to heat that up and rub that in, how it kind of just loosens up and becomes nice and moist and it's ready to go. So I'm going to be using this very simple boot cleaning cloth. I'm going to use one little section. I'm going to try and get it into a nice hard thick place so I can make circular patterns with this because that's how we're going to apply this. We're not going to apply it very sloppily. We're going to put a little bit on and we're going to rub it into the leather. That's what they're requiring and it is a proper way to waterproof your boots when you're using a waterproofing compound like this. Now, mind you, this is a full leather boot. There is no liner. There is nothing inside here except for leather. So adding the waterproofing material to this type of leather, this type of boot is really, really wise. So let's go. I'm gonna use a little bit just like this. And let's start right here in the toe section. Let's see if we can get that nice and close so you guys can see, and let's go. That's all I'm doing is I'm rubbing it in, I'm pressing really hard, and I'm trying to carry as much of this Moo Buzz as I can for the small amount into these sections. Now, normally I know that I really like to put a lot on and I like to make things look like cake frosting or, you know, whatever you want to say, but they say to use a very little bit. Man, that looks beautiful. That really, uh, really makes that leather look really nice rubbing it in like that. Let's see, let's put a little bit more on this side. Now it's really important to do the welt, like I said, doing the welt section, doing the toe section and doing inside the tongue. The upper part about where your ankle bone is and up, yeah, you can do it, but it's not as important as these other sections because these other sections are gonna be what's gonna come in contact with more water because of puddles and because of snow and just because of how water works with gravity. This is, these are the sections that you're gonna have to get covered really, really well. Right here is where you want to get. You want to make sure that in these sections here where, where the upper comes together with the tongue, you want to make sure to get as much of this stuff in there as possible and to coat that leather the best you can. So that's one down, let's start on the next one. All right, so that's about the amount that I'm starting with. If you can see that it's not a lot, but I did do about four applications on this last boot. So that's about the right amount to start with. And remember, we're starting with the toe section here. We're gonna start and do this section here really, really good because this is the section where you're really gonna be wet most of the time. All right, let's get inside that tongue.
Okay, so these boots are now completely coated as you can see. The toes are coated, the welts are coated, inside the tongue, completely coated. Now, Muba suggests that we do a 20 minute waiting period in order for this stuff to soak in and then for the excess to come to the surface so we can buff it out. So let's give it 20 minutes and let's see what happens. All right, so it's been 20 minutes and there's not much difference. The color hasn't changed. There's really no excess. Like I said, since you're using such a small amount on this, waiting for that excess to happen isn't really necessary. Now I am just going to go back over it with the dry side of the rag and just kind of buff it in and just to see what happens since they suggest that it should happen. Let's do it correctly. So when I go out in the rain and I test these boots out or in the snow that I've done everything correctly and I can't complain about them not being waterproof or about them being so waterproof that I fall in love with Mubas. So let's buff these out real quick. Now I don't want to rub too much of the Mubas out of the boot, but I mean, I do want to rub it. I do want to get some of that excess off there so it's not, you know, carrying through, but not too much. And look at that. I mean, one, the boots do look beautiful. Adding any sort of oil back into your boot is always a good idea. And that looks pretty damn nice. Now let's put the laces back in and we are all done. Now, when it comes to lacing up my boots, I am very particular about how I start my laces. I put the lace underneath from eyelid under where they connect to the other side. And then I just start one over one way one over the next way and I follow it through. I have found that when you lace your boots like this and this pattern that you get a much tighter, better fit rather than the way you find your boots when they come out of the box at the stores, they're usually laced like this. So they put this top one over like that. So you get that big loop there and then guys, as you'll always notice, they then start them underneath with those first ones. So you get that section that's underneath there and then you start bringing them over. This lacing system, I, I don't like this. I don't like this style of lacing. You know, for some reason, I just don't feel like you get a tight enough fit. I don't think it looks very good. This on the other hand, this looks very good because it follows a pattern. And if you're going to take the time to keep your boot clean, if you're going to take the time to put some TLC into this pair of boots because they are a tool in your life, you might as well take the time to lace them up so they look halfway decent too. All right. Hey, if you should have any questions on how to apply a product like Moobuzz or how to put Moobuzz on your boots or whether or not it's the right product for your boots, remember you can always shoot me over an email. Also, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you're interested in seeing some detailed photos of Moobuzz in the canister that I've taken or what it really looks like inside there, some nice deep detailed photos, swing by the bootguy.com. There I will have all those photos. I will have links so you can pick up some of this stuff yourself. Plus, I will also have some photos of this boot, what it looks like, nice and detailed. So you can see what a pair of waterproof boots after you've done all this too should look like. So you get a really good idea on what your boots are going to look like if you're going to follow this process. Hey, if you got any questions on what's the right thing to put on your boot, or if you're just wondering whether or not Moo Buzz would be perfect for your type of leather, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.